Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have a Jane Doe found January 19th, 1981, Atlanta, Georgia. Could be anywhere from 18 to 99 years old. They're not certain of her race. It says estimated PMI months and estimated year of death 1980 to 1981. Cannot estimate height or weight. Fulton County. A skull was found with six loose teeth, possibly brought into yard by a dog. No further information is available. I don't know how they got the estimated year of death on that. Um, wow. Partial remains with soft tissues. That's crazy. Uh, I don't think there's any images or documents. Okay, so we're going to look at some missing persons. We have Catherine Romer. She went missing April 8th, 1980 from Brunswick, Georgia, which is a ways away. 77 years old, 5'5", 145 pounds, bleach blonde hair. Um, her and her husband disappeared shortly after checking into the Holiday Inn located in Brunswick, Georgia. They went, their vehicle was located near some restaurants after, shortly after they checked in, and they never went back to the room. They've never been seen from since. They don't know what happened to them. You can pause this and read it. It talks about how they had jewelry that was worth valuable jewelry with them. They had a house in one area and a house to, in another area, and they were traveling. And they did a massive search for them, and they've never found any clues as to what might have happened to them. And like I said, you can pause this and read it if you like. So that's one person. And let's see. The next one is December 15th, 1980. Uh, Teresa McDonald went missing from Tunnel Hill, Georgia. She was 17 years old. She was uh, hitchhiking and headed towards Ray County, Tennessee. She stopped to use a payphone in Tunnel Hill, Georgia. And that was the last time anybody ever seen or heard from her. I believe they said that her boyfriend, yeah, at the time, they thought that he might have been a suspect. But I don't know. You know, she could have been. She was hitchhiking. So uh, dark brown, blonde or dirty blonde hair, blue eyes, very petite. Because um, she was only, what, 4 foot 11 and 130 pounds. We have Susan Redding. She went missing January 1st, 1980 from Decatur, Georgia, 20 years old, 5'4", 105 to 115 pounds. She left Washington and returned to Georgia in 1975. She's never been seen or heard from since. They don't, I, I think that they said that she disappeared around the 1980s or the mid-1980s. They're not even sure. Prior before her father's death in 1987, but this is 1980, so black hair, brown eyes. So I decided to leave her in. And this one's further back in time. It's all the way back to 1977, which wouldn't fit their timeline. But I'm leaving her in anyway. Uh, she went missing from Marietta, Georgia, which isn't that far away. Five foot one, 100 pounds. Her husband reported that he awoke to find that sometime during the night she had left after an argument. She's never been seen or heard from since. And there's more information if you want to pause it and read it. Her credit cards, her cash, her clothes, and her diamond ring were all left behind. Her husband found her vehicle at the airport. Okay, and the next one is uh, Cassandra Landrum. Went missing in 1975 from Union City, which is actually in Fulton County, Georgia. She was only 18 years old, 5 foot 1, 100 pounds, blonde hair, hazel eyes. Uh, she went to go use the payphone. It was a short distance away, and she never came back. They haven't heard from her since, and they've gotten anonymous phone calls um, stating that she had been murdered, I guess, and... So nobody knows what happened to her. If you have any information about who this Jane Doe might have been, it doesn't give us an area or anything, or what might have happened to any of these missing females, please contact authorities and let them know. Um, you can 
there are ways that you can contact them and re remain anonymous. And if you feel like it's hearsay, maybe you heard it from somebody who was drinking and talking, you're not sure if it's true, just let them know. Give them any information you have and let them decide what's important and what's relevant. Don't forget to pray for their families, their loved ones. Feel free to leave comments and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.